I want to quickly just address because it, I don't think I think the transfer window we had was it wasn't necessarily a good window mm -hmm. in terms of there was certain profile of players Tuchel wanted and he didn't get. Um, it, he wanted another wing back to cover for if Reese James and, and uh, Chilwell get injured, and also if he wanted to shift Reese James into right centre back, he wanted another wing back yeah. to cover those those issues. Which obviously we've now seen why, as mm -hmm. Chilwell got injured, we've seen why he wanted that wing back. He wanted a defensive midfielder in a sense of a deck. He want he liked Declan Rice. Um, I think another player we heard that he liked was uh, Bubakar Kamara. Um, yeah, from Marseille. Mm -hmm. From Marseille, yeah, and I've, and obviously, obviously, uh, the Chelsea board liked um, who was it? Uh, Shuameni. Yeah, um, Shuameni. And he, what was I think? Those were the and he only the striker, which he did get a striker in Romelu Lukaku. Um, he didn't get the players he wanted. Instead, the board gave him Saul. It, it wasn't. I mean, Saul. It's mm -hmm. it's not just that he doesn't. He needs adjustment time for the Premier League. It's that he's not the profile of midfielder we needed. We needed a defensive midfielder because Kante's injury, you know, injury yeah, prone. Injury prone. Let's say. It's and also, it also a defensive midfielder that can give Tuchel that tactical flexibility to switch. If if this back three is not working, mm -hmm. can switch to a back four, play the four three three, and build on that. He doesn't yeah. have that because if we're being honest, which a lot of people don't want to admit, because you know, play people love players so much. Mm -hmm. um, Jorginho, we can't switch to a back four with Jorginho in midfield. It just, yeah. he just, uh, he doesn't have the athleticism to to do that, you know. Exactly. And we all love Jorginho; he's a brilliant player. He gives us his all. He saved us in so many games, but mm -hmm. it, we have to kind of cater the system to get the best out of him. And if we were to switch to a back four with him, we'll, we'll be in big trouble, mm -hmm. you know. In transition on a counter attack, teams will absolutely kill us. So. I just don't think Tuchel got necessarily what he needed in order for us to move, you know, to the next level, to the level of Man City or or Liverpool. They've got mm -hmm. brilliant defensive midfielder in Rodri and uh, what's his name, um, Fabinho. Yeah. Um, you've seen how they play. If, mm -hmm. if if we want to move to the next level, that isn't. We I need... think we should first address our midfield. Yeah, and that's the problem with the Chelsea board. When a manager like Thomas Tuchel won you the Champions League. He asked for his players. You better give him what he wants. Do yeah, not try and, to impose him what the board wants. You know? And I genuinely think if Chelsea got a player like Declan Rice or, or Shuameni, Shuameni might need some time to adjust. You know, mm -hmm. Declan Rice could come in and you know could could be that guy straight away. Mm -hmm. When you get those players in, I genuinely think we can get more out of our attackers. I exactly. there was something that. There was something I noticed against... Uh, what was the last game we played? It was against... Um, uh, uh, Aston Villa? Which one? Aston Villa. Mm -hmm. I noticed for, for about 15 minutes, Christian Pulisic was moved to a right wing mm -hmm. um, before it, 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 it before it changed and he got moved to the... You know, he played as a right wing back. For that 15 minutes where he was playing on right wing, mm -hmm. you saw him improve exponentially. So he improved so much. Yeah. And that shows you, I think, I don't think our attackers are necessarily just dead. Mm -hmm. I think we can get a bit out, uh, we can get a lot more out of them if yep. we can change the way we play. But because we can't change the way we play because of the players we have at the mm -hmm. moment, the midfielders especially, we have to cover for their deficiencies. Mm -hmm. Because of that, it is limiting our attackers. And, you know, if we want to get the best out of them, we need to find something else. Yeah, uh, uh, okay. I can't pronounce your channel's name. <laughs> Unmute yourself. We have a monster here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah, do you yeah, have yeah. to big say? Up, big ups, big ups, big uh, ups, panel, big ups, TY Talk. Big, big, big up, big up, bro. Big up, DJ Sam, and big up. I'm here for big the up, people. Man. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. So, uh, basically, basically, yeah, I think. You can see what is happening. Monster has actually been on this for a while, and I totally support everything he's saying because mm -hmm. uh, we 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 always cry we do not have a plan B in the squad because sometimes we play our five back system and we cannot break teams down because teams know how to play against us. We're really predictable. Uh, they know if they do not come out, we cannot break them down. Our mm -hmm. forwards are not that creative. Our midfield isn't that also creative and the injuries actually just made everyone see that mm -hmm. we lacked creativity when Kovacic was out when Chilwell went out now so unfortunately Chilwell wouldn't be you know back anytime soon 
And when the inverted wing back thing, it couldn't work anymore. We started saying that, man, we cannot create nothing. We cannot. And now Tuchel is no, his hands are tied because he cannot swap formation. He cannot create a plan B because the plan B should be swapping to a four back system, throw more players up front, throw more bodies up front into the box, into the opponent's area so we can create chances, so we can, you know, launch balls. But mm -hmm. we cannot do that because even with a five back system, we're not still protecting the back five, you know, as much as we want to, mm -hmm. you know, how much more a four back system. We'll be conceding about three goals in every game. And so that's just that's just basically it. And I think everyone has been saying the same thing as well. Okay. Uh, thank you so yeah. much. Monster. So yeah. uh, how much do you uh are you willing to pay for somebody like Declan Rice? Because this debate every single day here, we have a lot of fight with everybody about the money that we're supposed to if somebody like rice become available how much are you willing to pay for him listen we have to put into perspective that i look at it like this you know i'm not i wasn't Declan rice was not my first choice or whatever but listen if the manager wants to play he wants a player in it so i'm gonna look yeah. at it from this perspective mm -hmm. i've never thought defensive players were worth over say 50 million so when chelsea were linked with van dyke i always at the time, and you know, Southampton was was at seventy million. Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, yeah, during that time, a defender's not worth that kind of money. It's a defender; it's not an attacker. Those are the kind of money you pay for attackers. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you need to look at it from West Ham's point of view. Yeah, this is their captain. It's this is arguably their best player alongside Antonio. You know, yeah. so I understand why they want this money. Chelsea mm -hmm. need to look at it like, do you want? Do we want to move forward and be? the club we want to be if we do mm -hmm. you're going to have to spend the money so yeah. that if it's you know 80 million we're just gonna have to spend it we, we were and you know you need to take into account as well Declan mm -hmm. Rice won't necessarily need that much adjustment as someone else will because sure many as much as I love this guy I think he's a brilliant player mm -hmm. I think he does he still needs to adjust you know even Fabinho Fabinho's great mm -hmm. he is amazing Yep. But even Fabinho needed time, time to adjust. Yeah. Yep. He needed time to adjust at Liverpool. And now he's the world-class DM, arguably the best DM in the world. He's Rodri as well. If you remember, uh -huh. Rodri yep. struggled a bit when he came in as well. Mm -hmm. He needed time to adjust as well. So if Chelsea wanted that someone to come in straight away, because they like quick fix, they love the quick success. Mm -hmm. If they need that guy that's going to come in and just Do the be job. the quickest fix, mm -hmm. it's going to have to, it's going to be Declan Rice and you're going to have to pay right. that top dollar. Right. Otherwise, if you bring in a shoe many, you're going to have to give him some time to adjust, even though he is a brilliant player as well. So you have to look at it from these points of views and you have to make your decision. Yeah. Yeah. DJ, you heard that. Ty, you heard that. The debate is over. No <laughs> yeah, more yeah, fighting yeah, before yeah. the Stop money. Yeah, yeah, Pay yeah, the that. money right now. Yeah, man. I, I, knew, I, knew that was, I knew that was the main reason. <laughs> <laughs> he was just waiting to throw that Let, Let's yeah, give but, the voice but of... But at the end of the day, I've always said that.